Yo, what is up everybody, man, Luigi here with another Dark Souls 3 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all 10 locations for the undead bone shards in Dark Souls 3. The first undead bone shard can be found in the overall area of the undead settlement, but close to the dilapidated bridge bonfire. From that bonfire, head straight past the one big enemy with the big saw and go to the graveyard of arrows area. Once you get to this area, be sure you keep moving if this is your first time here, as there will be an archer shooting these giant arrows at you. The bone shard is going to be on the right of the area on some of the broken ground and there are a lot of enemies and arrows flying at you so you got to pick this one up fast unless you've been through this area before and you've calmed it down. Undead Bone Shard 2 will be on the Road of Sacrifices near the Keep Ruins Bonfire. This is the swamp area and it's pretty hectic and confusing so I'm going to be putting up a map made by redditor DJ Franza that he allowed me to use in this video. I'm going to show you guys the area I'm talking about. So from the Keep Ruins bonfire, you're going to turn right and there's going to be a tower with a ton of slugs inside of it. Kill all the slugs or don't. The bone shard is in between all of them. It's the glowing item in the middle of like all eight or ten or however many there are. The third one is going to be at the Cathedral of the Deep near the Cathedral of the Deep bonfire. So you're going to leave the bonfire, run past all of those white skeletons, and keep going until you reach the super giant staircase. You're not going to go up this staircase before you're going to turn right into the graveyard slash arrow yard. There's going to be a lot of people, so either take this slowly and kill them all, or run in quick like you see me do. The shard is going to be at the end of one of the tombstones on the side of a cliff, so it is a very precarious spot. Undead Bone Shard 4 will be at the Erythil of Boreal Valley near the abandoned church or it might be called the Church of Yorshka Bonfire. You're going to walk to the woods beside the bonfire and continue through the woods, follow it, wrap around the building, and the shard is going to be behind a tombstone that's being guarded by one of those winged monsters from the Road of Sacrifices. Undead Bone Shard 5 will be in the Erythel Dungeon overall area near the profaned Capital Bonfire. This one's really easy. It's directly next to the bonfire. There should be a corpse. And if you go up to the corpse, you will get the Lying Down Gesture and the 5th Undead Bone Shard. Some people have said it might be after the first Gargoyle fight and it might be around a corpse in the area. So keep your eyes out. However, I have found it directly next to the bonfire. Number six is going to be at Lothar Castle, I think at the Dragon Barracks Bonfire. It's basically going to be right before the two giant dragons that spit fire. Run on the bridge that goes up to them, but right before you finish crossing the bridge, drop down and the shard is going to be right next to you under the bridge on that ledge. Make sure you don't drop down to the lowest possible area since you're going to be on a ledge that you can only get to by dropping down from the bridge. Number seven is again Lothric Castle, however this one's going to be in the library, the Grand Archives is the area name. This one you should find fairly easily as you're progressing through it, however it is a bit hard to explain. My best explanation is you're going to pass all the gargoyles on the roofs and once you go through the broken window and near a ladder shortcut, this shard is just going to be right there on the desk. You should see it, you should pick it up normally, so if you haven't gotten this far, you'll probably pick it up normally, however if this is like your final one and you haven't gotten this that is the location number eight is going to be the catacombs of Carthus, and that is where we are going to stay for the remainder of this list the overall area of the catacombs of Carthus, not just the one bonfire for the first one directly after the spoilers abyss watchers and spoilers fight you're going to run down the first staircase through the rooms until you get to the second staircase and you're going to run down that now be careful there's going to be a giant ball of skeletons that goes down the second staircase fondly called nito's testicle you're going to run down the staircase be careful because nito's testicle will be falling down too let it go back up and you're going to go inside and kill the pointy headed skeleton near where nito's testicle hits the bars once you do this next time nito's testicle comes through it should bash open once it hit the bars and the shard will be in the remnants of the testicle. Number 9 is going to be the Catacombs of Carthus again, as I said, near the Demon Ruins Bonfire. Technically, this is just in the general area. However, the Demon Ruins Bonfire is the best bonfire I've found to get this one. So, to get this shard, you're going to have to kill the giant worm that's in the general overall area. I would say do this from the Demon Ruins because you're going to be towards its backside. So, it'll be really easy pickings for you to just whittle it down, wait, whittle it down, wait, whittle it down. And once you kill it, you will be rewarded with a a shard and I think some form of magic. 
Finally, number 10, again, Catacombs of Carthus. This one is going to be near the Old King's Antechamber Bonfire. This one is a little more complicated in terms of getting to it, so you're going to want to follow where I go in the video. From the Old King's Antechamber, you're going to be running through multiple rooms until you get to a very large room with multiple flying fireballs and fireball monsters in the room. This is the largest room in the area that I found that is not in the upper area, so in the lower ruins, and the shard is going to be at the end of this room on the left. Be careful because a slime is going to drop from the ceiling when you pick the shard up and it can kill you especially because there's a lot of stuff happening in the room as you can see i die when i picked it up since i just really wanted to get it i knew where it was beforehand i really wanted to get it i didn't want to have to deal with fighting all those guys so i just sprinted through it and once you get this go back to your bonfire at firelink shrine level up your estes flask using all the shards you've gotten or if you've been leveling it up level it up the final time you should get the achievement ultimate bonfire and you have your estes flask at plus 10 hope you guys have enjoyed this video many thanks to from the ashes 984 a redditor that created a basic list for all 10 bone shards i created this video after seeing the list the list did help me in collecting a couple of the bone shards that were a little harder to find for me so i really appreciate that from the ashes and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video hope you guys have gotten all 10 of your undead bone shards and been able to max out your estes flask so you're healing for all that health if you really like this video make sure you check out more of my channel as i have other dark souls 3 videos up and i will be continuing to post a lot of dark souls 3 content because i really like this game and i know this can be a tough game and i'm happy to give as many tips as I can to people who haven't gotten a chance to play it, who are new to it, new to the series, having a tough time with anything. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace out.